Hi friends, my name is Ravi Roth and I'm your host of the Gaycation Travel Show. And today I'm headed to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Iowa, home of the hot guys. The hot guys, get it? Will I find a hot guy? I don't know. Farm to table originated in the Midwest. So what will the vegetarian food scene be like? What will the art scene be like? What will the queer nightlife be like? Will I be accepted as a queer human? I'm so excited to find out. I'm getting ready to hop on not one, but two planes, and I'll see you in Cedar Rapids. Well, after two planes, here I am at Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Never been to Iowa. That, that's the state that I've never been to, and it was never on the bucket list. But here we are, and I hope that I am pleasantly surprised. Now it's time to figure out where I'm staying and to drink five coffees. See you in a second. I'm staying at the luxurious Hotel Kirkwood. Let's check in with Jackie Bohr, the general manager, to talk about everything this hotel in Cedar Rapids has to offer. So if someone's traveling here to Cedar Rapids, you know, there's a lot of hotel options. Why would you say that they should stay at this hotel? I think everybody that works here and the students that are training here are passionate about hospitality and about really creating memorable experiences, which can be different for whatever kind of traveler we have staying with us. If it's the bride for the wedding that's getting married, if it's your group, if it's the ladies playing bridge in the back of the, of the bar, I mean, that's what it's about. When I travel, I travel because I want an experience. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to instill that with my staff, the students, and everybody so that they get an experience when they're here. But why stop in Cedar Rapids? What makes Cedar Rapids special? Why not? National Czech Museum, amazing restaurants, our hotel, a lot of other great hotels here. Llamas in the Prairie, theaters, Bruce Moore, so many amazing things. It just literally takes one stop and we can help plan whatever anybody wants to do. This hotel is beyond amazing and offers big city amenities through the Midwest hospitality. Another option for housing is to go downtown in Cedar Rapids and hit up an Airbnb. There's many options, but for me, I'd like something fierce and something fabulous. Let's kick off this gaycation travel show exploration of Cedar Rapids by checking out the Paramount Theater. Built in 1928, this beautiful theater is recognized on the National Register of Historic Places. We always say the Paramount's kind of the, the roadshow house in Cedar Rapids. There's many theaters in Cedar Rapids, but this was always the one that brought the talent to the stage. So the Broadway tours come through here? Broadway tours come through here. All of your comedians, concerts, um, everybody from widespread panic to Willie Nelson, uh, just oh. a complete wide range. Let's go on stage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going on a road trip and I'm trekking through Iowa, or if our viewers are trekking through Iowa, why stop in Cedar Rapids? Um, it doesn't matter what stop, what shop you're gonna stop in, people are just so personable, friendly. Um, but Cedar Rapids, I think, has so much to offer. Time to check out more of the art scene of Cedar Rapids. Our second stop is the National Czech and Slovak Museum. We actually have five galleries, but yeah, three, we have a main gallery, a permanent gallery that um, is changed periodically. And then we have two main temporary galleries that mm -hmm. we either produce our own exhibits or an exhibit we have right now is we're a Smithsonian affiliate. Okay. So we also will bring in a Smithsonian exhibit or from another museum and that's what we have right now. Yeah. This is a great exhibit. Um, it's called The Bias Inside Us. This exhibit uh, will certainly make people think we wow. all are biased, whether we're biased race, sex, gender, um, somebody's personal appearance, now, have you ever had any exhibits that focus on the LGBTQ experience? Um, we have had parts of it in some of our exhibits. Um, we've had people call them the blockbuster exhibits through the years. Uh, Madeline Albright is a great friend of ours and we had her wow. pins here. Um, that raised some, as, as strange as that may seem, that raised some questions. Yeah. Um, we also, Chihuly Glass exhibits, uh, Muka the Artist. Most people know Muka or know mm -hmm. that style. So again, to say we're trying to tell, I don't want to say we're trying to tell everyone's story, but we're trying to tell each person's story, right? Or at least to say, here's what I think. Nice. Now, do you feel like it's a safe space for queer travelers to come here and be able to be themselves and not mm -hmm. have to worry about? I, I do. I think Cedar Rapids really is a welcoming community, mm -hmm. truly a welcoming community. And, and we actually were having a staff meeting talking about that. 
And someone said, okay, it's the same thing of we welcome Czech and Slovak immigrants a hundred years ago. We've always had that spirit to say, come on over. We're good, we're, we're, we, like, we like it. If that wasn't enough for you, make sure to check out the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art. Uh, the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art has been in existence for 125 years. Oh, 125 years. 125 years, And, yeah. and um, what is it most known for? It is best known for its extraordinary collection of works by Grandfather. Um, so let's come, come, let's take a look. All of these museums make me want to flex my creative side. Let's check out the local Iowa Ceramic Center to see what we can get up to. For something unique and totally different, come downtown to the Cherry Building and go inside to the Iowa Ceramics Center. I'm really looking forward to it because we're gonna be making potted plants or bowls, maybe a cup, and I hope I have that ghost moment. I've arrived! <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited! I have a ball of clay. I have a gorgeous gown on, and I'm ready to make a ceramic pot. I don't know what it's actually gonna turn out to be, but I'm hoping for a bowl or a pot. I'm quite the athlete, as I'm pretty phenomenal at throwing clay. You know, I just wanted to say to all of you that are at home thinking, you don't know how to do this. I'm living proof that you can. And it still might be a mess. So, you know, it's just about, con it's trial and error, trial and error, and eventually you can make this. I am so ready for my ghost moment. Molly, you in danger, girl. Time to check in with local Cedar Rapids expert, Aaron, to get the lowdown on some travel advice for anyone interested in Cedar Rapids. How easy is it for gays to meet here? You know, Cedar Rapids, we're like every other tier two, tier three city. We're not circuit clubs. We're not the club scene. Um, but you can meet us at the winery. You can meet us at local restaurants, out at the theater uh, scene. Oh. This is kind of what we do. It's not club based, although we do have a gay club here in Cedar Rapids. So if someone comes to Cedar Rapids, how do you get around? Do you have public transportation? We do. The downtown district is quite walkable. Also mm -hmm. our New Bohemia district, which is connected to the downtown core. Um, and then there's a bridge district as well that connects us to Czech uh, town or Czech village. So it's pretty walkable? Pretty walkable for the downtown area. Otherwise, there's an extensive uh, bus line system here too. Okay. If you're gonna be here for one day, hit the New Bohemia district. It's small, it's walkable, it's clean, it's super fun. And at nighttime, oh my God, the place comes alive. But yeah. in the middle of the day in the summer, there are people everywhere. It's like Chicago or New York City. You just can't get around. It's awesome. There's ice cream. There are bike trails. There are walking trails. There's shops. There's vintage clothes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is where you should go. Okay. And there's lots of Airbnbs in this district too. Great places to stay for a quick night. I love coming to small towns and finding local radical stores that have queer stuff, that have activist stuff, social stuff, um, really funky elements that give back to the community. So this is a, a little bit of their queer section that they have. Amazing stickers. <laughs> Obsessed. I put the gay in agenda. Hello. Um, this is pretty gay. Should probably be my slogan. Hello. Um, and they got some cool shirts. They have some mugs. They have some tchotchkes. I am craving to get out into nature while I'm in Cedar Rapids. I think I know just the place to go. Welcome to Prairie Patch Farm. Thank you. We have seven llamas and one alpaca that live here and they are all boys. So it is the bachelor pad. Uh, so yeah, people come cool. here and predominantly do guided llama hikes out on the nature preserve. We have just under 50 acres. So people come and learn how to walk the llamas, which we'll do today. I'm at Prairie Patch Farms. I might not have met a man this week, but I sure got myself a llama. This is Earl. Welcome to the Pride Parade here in Cedar Rapids. On the farm, Earl and the goats leading the way. This is such a different type of experience that, first of all, it won't take up all of your day. Right. But it's something that like you'll have these, like, these memories are gonna be for us the rest of our lives, you know? Yeah, and, and things that you know are moving towards experiences and people 
Love that. And the thing that's the best about it is that you're not meeting these animals with a fence in between you. You get the up close personal experience and really get to appreciate how docile and sweet and just really the therapeutic components that these animals can give you and just make you so happy. After that llama and goat pride parade, I have definitely worked up an appetite. Luckily, Cedar Rapids is a culinary powerhouse. Did y'all know that Cedar Rapids is the home of Captain Crunch? They actually make Captain Crunch crunch berries here in the city. So today we are at Feedwell and they have amazing pastries and breakfast. But one thing they have that's super special is the Captain Crunch crunch berry pastry. There's a saying here in town that's wake up and smell the crunch berries. And I've been a home baker all my life, decorating cakes and whatnot. And then I was convinced by my friend that we had to go into business together and went to school for baking and pastry. And here we are. Uh, Melanie Abunami. And um, I'm the savory side of things, but uh, I've actually been teaching at Kirkwood. When we opened the hotel, I was executive chef and the food and beverage director, have some catering experience, and then decided to crazy enough to uh, go out on our own <laughs> for a little bit, so yeah. I think I'm in the mood for a little bit of wine this afternoon. Time to hop on over to Cedar Ridge to get a tour of the facilities and taste some of what they got going on. There's actually over 100 wineries here in Iowa. Uh, yeah. it, is, it, is, it is huge uh, industry for us. So everything in this building is, in barrels is wine. So these uh, can be Cabernet, could be Merlot, could be some of our own varietals from our own estate, like Marquette, Marichal Foch, Frontenac, uh, Petit Pearl. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, red varietals that we grow here in the state of Iowa. Um, I noticed you have a beautiful outside area for seating, so can people come here just to like have lunch or have dinner and, and just have cocktails? Absolutely, but we're a full restaurant, um, so people can come uh, every day of the week. So you don't have to come for just like a wine tour. Uh, absolutely, yeah. You can come here for a wine tour, you can come here for a whiskey tour, you can come here for dinner, lunch, a date, you name it. Every Friday night, we usually have live music. We do mm. a brunch on Sundays. Um, we're, 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 the, we're, the, we're the the full effect. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to run around the vineyard and take some dramatic shots. Running through the fields made me feel so alive with my rainbow flag. If wine isn't necessarily your thing, Cedar Rapids has several breweries to check out. We stopped by Lion Bridge Brewery to grab some lunch and check out where they made their beers. I'm in Czech Village right now, and I'm going to Rodinia, a Czech restaurant with a modern twist. Let's check it out. Rodinia is an absolute must on your next trip to Cedar Rapids. They have the values of Midwest hospitality and they put a little extra love into every dish and drink. Make sure you come with an appetite and you won't be disappointed. And where am I? I'm at the Cobble Hill restaurant, Andy Schumacher's restaurant. Who's Andy Schumacher? Next Food Network star, baby. Come on in. There are so many spots to visit and Cobble Hill is another must. I guess what I'm trying to say is make sure you schedule enough days to explore the full culinary delights that Cedar Rapids has to offer. Time to check in with the queen of Cedar Rapids, the legendary Julie Stowe from Cedar Rapids Tourism. Julie Stowe with Cedar Rapids Tourism and I book meetings and conventions in our fine city. So <laughs> what would you say is like something that people must pack or prepare for it when they're coming here? You know, the big joke is if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. And I don't know if you noticed today, we did like literally for three minutes it rained and then the sun came out. Yeah. You know, pack, pack layers, you know. Pack layers. It, might, it might be warm in the afternoon, get a little sweater at night. <laughs> for me, gay travel is like, you find the neighborhood, you find your tribe, you you um, you know go to the queer bars and you and you learn about the queer culture from that. And you know you don't really have that here. And it, what you do have though is this like insane sense of community. And insane, I mean by insane is like such like a heartfelt community. The the people that I've met through you and that I've met through just like experiencing this town. 
They've been so kind and it wasn't through the queer bars and it wasn't through the nightlife. It wasn't through getting like turned at three in the morning, dancing my face off, you know? So it was natural. It's, it was natural and it just queer culture exists everywhere here. And that's a big thing that I think will eventually start to happen in throughout the country, the world, that it's not going to be like, this is a space for this, this is a space for that. It's a place where you can go and be yourself. And I just got to say like that is pretty cool. That makes my heart happy because that's part of why I made this home is because I felt everyone was welcome in our community and it was just very organic and natural and authentic. Mm -hmm. And I want people to know about it because I want my friends to feel safe when they come here. And um, and I know I sit in a place of white, straight privilege. And so if I can share with people and make sure that my friends in the queer community know that they're safe here, come here, let me plan an itinerary for you. I'll, where do you want to go? Who do you want to meet? Yeah. I want everyone to have an authentic Cedar Rapids experience here. Well, it's been so rad. I love Thank you. you. Oh my God. All right, what kind of food are you in the mood for? Well, you've given me farm to table realness. Um, <laughs> I had some Czech food. I'm kind of feeling like some pasta. Ooh, have I got the place for you. Let's head to Bari Italian. They're, they've taken a modern spin on rustic Italian. Oh. We've got everything from some prosciutto wrapped melon to some handmade pastas to some charcuterie boards and I've got some great Italian wines for you to try. You sold me on great Italian wines. Um, let's go gain another 10 pounds <laughs> in Cedar Rapids. The queer nightlife in Cedar Rapids is small but mighty. Finally, we're at the Basics. Bell's Basics, the biggest and best queer bar. The only queer bar in Cedar Rapids. Basics is the biggest community center in Cedar Rapids. Think of it as a place where people can go when they have no other place to go. It's open 365 days a year. Drink specials four to six every day of the week. And Fridays and Saturdays, huge drag shows. Let's uh, go get a cocktail. If people are coming to Cedar Rapids, why come to see a drag show here at Basics? What's the reason? Because it's everything you never knew you wanted, and you'll never know you wanted unless you come and see it. The drag queen slay. The Midwest charm was real. I did not meet my next ex-husband, but I made friends to last a lifetime. Alliant Energy oh teamed up with Cedar Rapids Tourism to light the city up in rainbow for Gaycation Travel Show. Check this out. Cedar Rapids, you have been so kind. It's not a top tier destination, but it sure as hell acts like one. I came here with a wish to meet a farmer. It didn't happen, but I met some fabulous humans who are gonna be lifelong friends. Thank you. Thank you to the tourism board for providing such hospitality and to the ferocious locals. You make up this incredible city, thank you. Next week, for our final episode of the season, we are headed to the Windy City. We're headed to the place that has the best deep dish pizza in the world. Like going to Chicago. <laughs> That's right. Be sure to follow the Gaycation Travel Show each week as we dive in, tanked up first, obviously, and show you some known and off the beaten path destinations that should be on your travel bucket list. Stay safe, stay proud, and always remember to live out loud.